So Chris Froome is doing the 2018 Giro d'Italia. I gave my little prediction on what I think he's going to do um, in terms of like preparation for it in a different video. And I guess right, he is going to do it. But here's a little clip of Chris Froome back in the day, 2015, Tour of Andalusia, the uh, stage 14. Kenya just attacked, trying to force other people to chase. Super steep climb. Anyway, just watch this in the background as I speak over. So anyway, I'm pretty excited about this. Very excited. Can Chris Froome do the triple, hold all of them, and do the triple crown with the world champs? No one knows. But anyway, it's going to be a good good season nonetheless. Good season nonetheless. Can't wait. Can't wait. Uh, sorry about the old repetition. But anyway, so Chris Froome, who is going to race against? A lot of people are saying that people won't, won't turn up. Riders won't turn up because they're going to be too scared about old Chris Froome. What the hell is Pete Kenny doing this gear? This is outrageous. Um, but I think Chris Froome's going to win the Giro. Because, number one, I don't think many people are going to race it because they want to win the Tour. Uh, will he do the double? I don't think he'll do the double, to be honest, because I think he will he will be too tired. Um, or he Not necessarily he'll be too tired, but he won't be able to keep his form for that long. Because a lot of the people, they like to, they were saying that, you know, Chris Froome in 2016, 2017, sorry, like peaked at the very end, then kept that form over the rest, and then sort of held it till the Vuelta. Uh, but I think with the, because it's uh, so far apart, I have to do two peaks, and I'm not sure if Chris Room will be able to be able to do that. He hasn't shown in the past that he's been able to peak twice, really. So I think uh, it'll be interesting nonetheless. But Chris Room doing the Giro, it's going to be really funny to watch because I feel like he's just he if he turns up and there aren't really the GC riders, like if Quintana's not there, Lander might be there. If Demoulin's not there. Like, Aru, Aru's going to be there, but, like, he'll just destroy them. Like, it won't even be, really be fair. Like, Dan Martin won't be there. Mikey's will be there. He's not great. Okay, maybe Chavez will be there, but there's a TT, so that knocks off about two minutes of his time. Like, it's just going to be a joke. He's just going to destroy them, and it just won't really be funny. But then the Tour de France will be absolutely epic, because for the first time ever, Chris Room won't be the strongest in anything, really. Because he won't be the strongest time trials. Dumoulin probably will. Well, they'll be close, but Dumoulin probably will be better. And then the climbing, he definitely won't be the strongest because he'll be quite tired, so Quintana will be stronger. So I think it'll lead to a really exciting race. Um, anyway, here we go. Chris Froome is in his little stupid three-quarter length things. I don't know, he looks like an idiot in them, but he doesn't care. Chris Froome's here to win the race. Everyone else is grinding some outrageous gear because obviously in Spain they find the steepest burke and just get the lads to go up there. Even Chris Froome's only probably down at 80 cadence, which is practically like 40 for me or you, because he has been such a high cadence normally, Contador is grimacing, but you can see, like, Chris Room's just like, I don't know, I feel like he just, he just has it, like, the Montes <laughs> will we see, will we see the 40 cassette, I don't, I don't think we will, but I think we'll see at least a, at least a 36 on the back, a 38 up front, the Z Montes Oncalan, because that is incredibly steep climb, um, will Chris Room's cadence, will, yeah, win, I think he probably will, Colo della Finestra, will be also be an interesting climb, the Cimacopi, uh, it'll be interesting to see who takes that. It'll probably be some random bloke who's on the mountains. I don't know who, which pro continental teams we're going to get. But anyway, here we go. Chris Froome's on the attack. No, basically drops everyone. Contador's on his wheel. Contador's the only one who could really keep up with Froome. And we look back. Okay, occasionally Quintana could, but Quintana's, and they've never really been both absolute full gas. Like Anyway. There they go, up the road. Look at the speeds they're going. They're probably going like 25, 30 k's an hour up this, like... <laughs> like I don't know how steep this is. It's probably like 15% it was there. It's probably got to settle down to 8 now. He's just absolutely flying. Like, it's just a different level, the lad. I'm... I'm, I'm gonna... I, I'm gonna say he's gonna win the Giro Tally by at least like 4 minutes or something. Or maybe even 5. I feel like there's just no one... No one's gonna want to turn up. Why would you turn up the Giro Tally? They have to be smacked by Froome. And then... When there's a, like a Tour de France, which for the first time in like, well, since 2012, there'll be no bloke whose just only decision from Sky is to go for the Tour de France. It'll be the first time, and I think people got to take it. Dumoulin will definitely be a favourite with a bit of cobbles. He's good at cobbles. Team time trial, time trial. It will be good. Chris Froome, will there be enough, t enough um, I don't know, opportunities for him to sort of like gain time early on and just sit back, I'm not sure in the Tour de France, Giro d'Italia, I think he'll do well in the opening stages, wait, probably win the, the Etna stage and then just defend from then on, I don't really see him wanting to win too early on, so maybe he won't go for the Etna stage, but I think he'll just want to, I think in, in Italy, it's always people always say it's very unpredictable, so I think he'll want the pink jersey early on and then just 
chill out, basically. We're coming to the end of this vid, because Chris Froome is about to win this stage, pretty chilled. And he looks like he's always struggling a bit, but we all know Bruma. He likes to struggle, but he still wins such good cadence. When you look at him pedal, it's just so efficient. Like you can, you I don't know when you spin that high cadence, you just know you know what he's feeling. Like you can barely feel your legs. You can just sort of like really like hurting in terms of your heart and lungs, but your legs are just spinning, and you just know you're flying up the mountain. Like look how fast. It's just amazing. Like you can't. You, I don't. You just can't tell from the TV how fast he's they go up the climbs, but when you're there, or even when you just, like, are climbing at the same speed as him, at the same gradient, well, obviously I'm not going as long, on my three-minute hill climbs, I can do the same hit, what's as he's doing now, let's say, but he's doing it for, like, 40 minutes, and, like, you're just like, this is so fast, like, this is amazing, and Chris Room can do that for, like, half an hour, it's just, it's just insane, like, how fast they go, I think, well, the gravel crime, the gravel grinding, well, Chris Froome's high cadence will get his back wheel spinning all over the place and causing a crash, <laughs> Nah, I don't think it will. I think he'll, I think he'll just take it within his stride. I'm not sure if the the other side is um, paved or not. I don't think it is. So on the downhill, Chris Froome might do a bit of, bit of mountain biking, as we all know he's a world class mountain biker. <laughs> well, I'm joking. He actually is. He used to. He went to the Commonwealth Games or something. I tried to find some footage of this of Chris Froome mountain biking, but alas, none none could be found. But anyway, Chris Froome coming to the end. Here he goes. Like, look at Contador struggling. Contador. It would be interesting to see what he'd do if he was still racing. It's sort of sad he's not racing because he was one who could just destroy Froome. If he if Froome wasn't right on form and Contador was on form, as we saw in Los Masjucos, well, to stage 17 this year, like he just destroyed Froome. It was just just the speed difference and just how fast they were going. Apparently, he did six and a half watts per year for 20 minutes on Los, Los Machucos, which, including descents, is absolutely outrageous. Um, well, that was estimated. I'm not sure if, what, who that estimated that. But anyway, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Oh, Chris Bream is just flying, just flying, actually, just really zooming along. And I'd say, if I was a, if I was a betting man, will Chris Froome do some early, early events? Will he do Torino? I don't think he will. I don't think he wants to do that, unless there's a team time trial, which he could then practice with his tour squad. Because they often they like to do a bit of practice with the team time trial, Sky. So I wouldn't be surprised, maybe. But even then, I think Chris Froome will follow his trusty race strategy. He's going to win the Giro. I'm pretty certain about that. The question is, will he be able to recover enough? Will he be on like, mentally on it? Will he be physically on it? I'm pretty sure Froome will be mentally on it because he's so determined. He's such a such a fighter. I mean, they all are, to be honest. They all just want to fucking win the whole time. Just, that's it. But that's their life. That's what their goal is. But the question is, just will he be too tired, and will he just have the the legs? To be honest, because when the thing is, is like when Quintana, if it's Quintana Lander and Valverde at the tour, like when one of them goes up the road, and if Sky don't have enough teammates, Froome just got to chase. And old Broom, I'm not sure if he's gonna have the legs for it. I'm worried for him. There's gonna be like that 60k stage or whatever. I mean, it's gonna be flat out from the beginning, and Froome could be in real trouble. That's why I feel like. The Giro, he'll probably try and win pink early and just hold it because he just doesn't want to take any risk. But the Tour, it might make sense maybe to be the op do the opposite, do what they did ye this year where they sent Lander up the road and be a bit more adventurous because I feel like otherwise it's going to be really, really difficult. Also, how long has this last kilometre been? This is how steep it is. I, I picked a 1.5k out and it's been like almost 9 minutes now, which just shows you how incredibly steep this climb is. Because a, a, like, a 1.5k climb should not take 9 minutes unless it's like... It's, this average is probably like 15% like I don't think people realise how steep this climb is like you just, I just do you find it really hard to tell from the TV but anyway enough of my rambling here goes Fruma gonna take the stage finally I thought it was gonna be a bit bit of a long a bit of a long wait for me a bit of a long wait for you to be fair as well because Froome's getting the speed up he looks ridiculous in those little legging things but anyway Chris Froome's gonna win win the jury he's gonna win this stage is he going to win the Tour de France? I keep saying it. I just don't know. Look at the gear. Hang on, let's have a little pause here. Bit of gearing action. Like a thir 36, 32, I, my guess would be, on Conador's bike. Pretty exciting. Pretty exciting indeed. Um, that, that's some big that's some big gearing for this. Maybe it was even smaller. I'm not sure. It looked like a, definitely a 32 on the back. I'm not sure what gearing Chris Room's on. Probably... Some weird gearing because he has oval chain rings, so no one really knows what what gearing he's on. Um, but anyway, Froome has now won the stage. It's pretty chilled out. It's just like meh, won the stage, lads. 
going to win the tour this year, won the tour that year. Just pretty, pretty gassed, just chilling out now. Motorbike goes past and all that, all as well for Chris Froome as he goes for the Giro Tour double and maybe even the World Championships. Cheers for watching. Hope you join me next year to watch a great Giro d'Italia and a great Tour de France. See ya.